Hey guys, welcome to the Culpepper House here on my block. Come on in. This week we're at the Culpepper home here in Quail Valley and this family has really taken a beautiful large home with amazing bones and made it their own. They got a fantastic deal and they have turned a great deal into a total dream. So this is a big 4,300 square foot home. There's a lot of rooms, a lot of large rooms, and the Culpeppers needed to come in and figure out how they wanted to arrange it and how they wanted to make the home their own and really fit for their family. So Lauren, when did you guys move here to Quail Valley? So we moved here in September 2016. Um, we did work on the house and lived with my in-laws for two months, and then we moved in the night of Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. Okay, so what brought you to Quail Valley? So my husband and I built in Richmond. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get out of this area. We mm -hmm. grew up here, and um, so we thought, let's build a new house. It'll be perfectly ours. Nobody else has lived in it before. Um, and slowly over time, we realized that we really wanted just like a bigger piece of land, something with some charm, some actual trees that mm -hmm. aren't just baby trees. Um, and so the further we looked out into Sugar Land, we just kept getting closer and closer to our home. First things first, when the Culpeppers got into this house, they bought it from the original owners. Needless to say, there was a lot of work to be done. The first thing they tackled was to take down all of the wallpaper, replace all the windows, and get some great white and neutral colored paint to really brighten up the house throughout. So as we moved closer and closer um, looking into Sugarland, we found Quail Valley mm -hmm. and we just waited it out. We looked for two years before we found um, a different house in Glen Lakes and we were actually the backup offer and you know going to pursue it. We decided let's just come look at this house on our sure. way to looking the other one. And right away, we fell in love with the yard. Okay, so it was the yard was the big selling point oh, for yes. this home. Yes. Okay, good deal. And so you've been working on the home ever since you've moved in. Are you done with the home? Oh, no, not at all. So we have two huge undertakings left. We've got the master bath and then we have the kitchen. So oh, okay. arguably your most expensive uh, renovations and undertaking. So when you walk in the house, the first thing that you are greeted by is this really grand living room. And the Culpeppers have done a great job of sectioning it off so it doesn't feel overwhelming and too big. It feels cozy, it feels livable, and it's perfect for this sweet family of four. So when you started the renovations, what was your inspiration or your design philosophy behind everything? I love mid-century modern. It is um, easily my favorite home decor style. My husband is a little bit more traditional, so um, blended together, that's kind of how we landed on this. We also have some really beautiful pieces from family um, and then that I've collected over time that are antique. So it kind of just blends together and makes a really beautiful, eclectic vibe. Um, and I'd like to think that it's a little bit clean line, but also warm and inviting. Another huge selling point in this home for the Culpeppers was the downstairs master bedroom. It's half windows, it looks out on a lovely backyard, and it's really huge, and they have done a fantastic job of taking advantage of not only the view, but all of the light that comes in, and then the beautiful sitting area that's also incorporated into the bedroom. Even though that we are in a neighborhood with homes built in the 70s, a lot of them still need a lot of TLC and upgrading. You don't have to do it all at once. It's completely feasible to move in and do it room by room and really make sure that you're turning the home into the home of your dreams. Thanks for joining us here at the Culpepper House for this episode of My Vlog. And again, if you wanna feature a room in your house, your whole house, or maybe even the outdoors, please feel free to reach out to us on our Facebook page or you can email me personally at sarah at par3realty.com. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.